Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming, back with a little video to celebrate 10 years of JD Gaming. That's right, my first ever video was an opening of the original Premium Gold set uploaded on April 2nd, 2014, intentionally that day to avoid April Fool's Day. I know I haven't been around nearly as much in the last few years especially, but I wanted to take a moment and look at where I've been. Where we have been. And maybe a little bit of where we're headed. The TLDR is I still have no specific plans to banish this channel, face down or otherwise. But things have certainly changed. Yu-Gi-Oh has changed. The channel has changed. And I, of course, have changed. Way back when I started the channel, I was in college. I was exploring a new world of not being stuck in a classroom all day, as well as as much financial freedom as my part-time job teaching violin would allow. The early videos on this channel were therefore product opening videos and trade binder updates. Anyone else remember those days? Posting videos of what we were willing to send out via snail mail in a world before TCG player lows dictated the value of our cards. A time when the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game was actually a trading card game. That era was so much fun for me because I was able to interact with some cool folks over a game we all loved. As someone who has never had and still to this day doesn't have consistent access to a local store, that sense of community is so precious to me. Eventually, I gained enough confidence and posted my first ever deck profile, a Trap Tricks Psychic Synchro deck that combined elements of the hat format Trap Tricks with my beloved Remove From Play Psychics, remember that term, to summon Nichuria Beast, Barkeon, and all my favorite Synchro monsters. This laid the groundwork for the Let's Build deck profile format that I honestly still use as a deck building format to this day. And while I certainly enjoyed exploring other content options like various series and such, this format is still my absolute favorite. It's how I most directly and closely interact with the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! My other favorite thing I made for the channel has to be four fun facts. The only series I kept going for as long as it ran, and the perfect example of my overarching love for the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise across all media, across my life. Even now, I love spending hours of my free time going down the rabbit hole of Yu-Gi-Oh! history, trivia, and just random oddities that I either am experiencing firsthand right now, or have back in the day, or just noticed by happenstance along the way. And as the roots of these series became firmly ingrained, I was lucky enough to catch the attention of Doug Dzeef himself, and fortunate enough to have the honor of being his first ever guest upload with my Metal Foes Zulkin deck. That was such an inspirational moment for me with this channel, and even now, over seven years since that opportunity, it's an incredible experience I hold dearly as a huge highlight both for the channel and personally as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. That single moment gave me the drive to rev it up, and in turn, it helped strengthen my love for the various hobbies Yu-Gi-Oh was for me. I've had times where I untiringly posted a video every week while preparing for pharmacy licensure exams, and others where I enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh more privately and without the visible content to go along with it. I learned more and more about video production, and eventually it led me to launching my own violin and drawing channel, as well as an anime figure collecting presence online. This channel was the birth of it all. I've been a lifelong creator and fan of all sorts of media, but this channel was my first step in my journey bringing that to others. The wonderful joys I have experienced both creating content and interacting with you all over these years have and continue to have lasting effects on my love for the game. I feel that the growth of this channel and my growth as a person in this last decade go hand in hand in many ways. It's honestly why despite having long, unannounced periods of time away, I never felt like I was truly ready to give this up. And again, I don't plan to anytime soon. The general plan is to reel things back in a little bit and feature topics on this channel that really reflect how I am interacting with Yu-Gi-Oh! at that time. That means you can expect more Let's Build Deck profiles and even some four fun facts videos. For now, I just want to leave you with this question. What are some of your favorite JD Gaming moments and memories? I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna do anything with it. Just because you say you liked a specific thing doesn't mean I'm going to keep that series going or bring something back. Whatever. You know how long my random breaks can be. But I also do have at least one video that's currently in production that I specifically took the time to record before recording this one. But in any case, I'm just curious. Today, to celebrate 10 years of the channel, I can't think of anything more fitting. 
Thank you guys so much for watching the channel over the years. This is JD Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. And down in the comments.